trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us. And we got another great interview coming up for you momentarily. But uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell. And anytime a new episode comes your way, you'll be notified. And you can check that out. And also leave a comment on the comment section if you like. We love hearing from you. And go to our Facebook page as well. It's facebook.com forward slash Paul Mash TV. And feel free to follow us there and comment on everything you see. Even send us an inbox and We'll get back to you. And if you'd like to email us as well, you can email us at uh, palmashtv at gmail.com. And uh, if you're a band or a solo artist that want to be on the show, use that and we'll show you how to do it. And also, uh, we love fan mail as well. So if you're just simply a fan, go ahead and send us an email and we'll get back to you. And all this is going to be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show. So stay tuned for that. From Hyannis, Massachusetts, we have uh, Real Definitive Music. And a uh, pretty awesome artist, I would say. And uh, we'll get to that in just a second because it starts right now. All right, everybody. It's uh, interview time, as I just promised you. And uh, with us from uh, Hyannis, Massachusetts, we have uh, Real Defender of Music today. Uh, thanks for joining us, Real Defender of Music. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you very much for having me. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, we're always glad to have, uh, you know, independent artists like yourself. Um, uh, tell us how it got started for you as far as being an artist. I mean, have you always wanted to be one? Did you just kind of fall into it? Uh, tell us your story. Uh, basically, uh, I've always really had a passion for it growing up, but I never really did anything serious about it. I just, you know, wrote a couple of verses here and there, but it wasn't until 2016 where I actually started to take it seriously. I, uh, wrote full songs and posted, uh, pretty cheesy videos on Facebook. Um, but you know, that's how I got the start. And ironically, um, uh, my mentor now to this day, uh, Illitin, he found me through those Facebook videos. He helped me out tremendously and he got me to uh, basically write the way that I do to this day. And if it wasn't for Illitin, honestly, I don't think I would be half of the artist that I am today. So I'm more than grateful for him for that. Um, I had a, uh, a stint with uh, drugs and alcohol. I had a, a couple of traumatic life experiences that happened um, not too long ago. And uh, I went to rehab on April 1st of 2021. And now I'm coming up on two years of sobriety. And uh, essentially, I had stopped writing music while I was in there. And then now with my first official song, Vacant, this is my comeback after that four-year hiatus. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, congratulations on your uh, sobriety there. And uh, I'm glad that you did that. Um, Thank you. Hopefully you'll uh, be even a better artist down the road and uh, make people happy with your music. That's what it's all about anyway. Oops. Absolutely. Um, well, what are some of the artists that you grew up with that really helped influence you? I mean, you know, in the mainstream side. Um, essentially, Eminem, um, Hobson was a big influence in uh, the way that I wrote. And um, then uh, eventually, I think it was 2017, I want to, if I'm not mistaken, I found NF. And uh, NF has really big, uh, been a big inspiration for me in terms of the blueprint for me creating what I do to this day. Um, I, I don't swear in any of my music. Uh, if I talk about drugs or alcohol, it's just from my experience on it. And, um, you know, I, I've just completely took a 180 from where I used to uh, speak about. Um, and it's just uh, NF has been a big influence on my uh, writing. Okay, yeah, I can see that because, you know, uh, a lot of artists I uh, talk about that, they usually say Eminem is probably uh, one of their biggest influences, and I can understand that, and he's, um, he's legit for sure, so uh, <laughs> definitely a legend, so. Um, well, tell everybody where we can find you at on social media as well as streaming platforms. I'm sure you got your music on streaming uh, for everybody to download and you, or listen to. Absolutely. It's real definitive music, all three separate words. Uh, I currently have a Spotify, YouTube, um, Amazon Music, uh, iHeartRadio, um, and 
I forget. There's a, a couple more on there, but if you just essentially Google real definitive music, um, because I'm a new artist, it's a little bit hard to find the different things. But if you look up real definitive music in vacant, as well as real definitive music and lost myself, which are my first two songs, um, you'll be able to find me through there. I'm releasing a new song every two weeks for this entire year. So I'm going to have a lot of material out very soon. And I'm excited for the world to hear all of this. Okay. Well, what about streaming media? I mean, uh, I mean, uh, social media, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess you're on oh, Facebook and all that as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Uh, I have a SoundCloud, but it's older material. Um, but essentially, if you just look up real definitive music, you'll find everything. Okay. All right. Well, go to your favorite social media site and your streaming media platform and um, get his music. And I know he would really love you for that. And, uh, and I know, Mandy, you already spoke about the song we're going to play, Vacant. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to talk to us about the song, or is that pretty much it? Uh, basically, it's the uh, first song. Um, it explains uh, what I had gone through, um, basically, uh, from me being away. And um, it, it essentially just uh, is, a, is a small piece into the life of real definitive music and uh, how this is my comeback because I've been vacant. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and, and it makes perfect sense there, and uh, and it is a great song, and uh, I know everyone's dying to get into it, and uh, we'll get to that in a second, though, but uh, uh, real definitive music, uh, you know, it's been a pleasure talking with you. We'd love to have you back again sometime if you have anything new to plug for us. Absolutely. Thank you very much for having me. I couldn't be more grateful for you. Okay, well, I appreciate that. And here it is, Vacant by Real Definitive Music, and it begins right now. See, I've been vacant, I think it's time for a comeback But I've been gone too long, don't know where I'm at Vacant, my patience is broken I feel like I'm coasting, don't know how I'm floating I'm vacant, I think it's time for a comeback But I've been gone too long, don't know where I'm at Vacant, my depression been holding me down Truth to the matter, my pockets weren't getting fatter I was racking dead up faster, lost my job, then my life shattered what a disaster, it didn't matter if I was broke Knew I had to step up quickly before I lost all control Then I slipped up, truly when it mattered the most Was told to give it up, believing I wouldn't blow Oh no, now watch me explode Just leave me alone, indulge in my zone See, I've been vacant, I think it's time for a comeback But I've been gone too long, don't know where I'm at Vacant, my patience is broken I feel like I'm coasting, don't know how I'm floating I'm vacant, I think it's time for a comeback but I've been gone too long, don't know where I'm at Vacant, my depression been holding me down Gone away, arrested for the second time around I got caught up on possession, I question what I'm about Then sent away to rehab April 1st, no April Fools I am gathering this knowledge for sobriety, these tools Practically practicing step work every day Had to admit I was powerless, not much else I can say I cannot control the alcohol or drugs to numb my pain So I must commit to abstinence forever as I pray See, I've been vacant, I think it's time for a comeback But I've been gone too long, don't know where I'm at Vacant my patience is broken, I feel like I'm coasting, don't know how I'm floating, I'm vacant. I think it's time for a comeback, but I've been gone too long, don't know where I'm at, vacant. My depression been holding me down, down. Lost myself among the race of life, far away. I never thought I had a problem or fix it along the way. Gerald Trotman helped me piece the puzzle scattered in my brain. Words cannot describe the gratitude I have for you today. Rehabilitation is my situation Black clouds, aggravation Pressing on my patience Cannot hold me down Separation taking me away from music Watch how I'm about to explode Like a volcano You better look See, out See I've been vacant I think it's time for a comeback But I've been gone too long Don't know where I'm at Vacant My patience is broken I feel like I'm coasting Don't know how I'm floating I'm vacant I think it's time for a comeback But I've been gone too long Don't know where I'm at Vacant My depression been holding me down 
Setting up my first release, I'll raise the bar, I can't decrease the way I speak or energy abilities to show no weakness, actually I'm quite happy I've been through hell, now I found peace inside these walls, anxiety with hell from God I can't defeat, all these demons haunting me, they tell me relapse constantly, I've come so far I can't repeat, my drug abuse I'll see defeat, I don't want to, I disagree, I see no good, so actually I'll hold my ground and hit my knees and pray to God to let see, me be. I've been vacant, I think it's time for a comeback, but I've been gone too long, don't know where I'm at, vacant. My patience is broken, I feel like I'm coasting Don't know how I'm floating, I'm vacant I think it's time for a comeback But I've been gone too long, don't know where I'm at Vacant, my depression been holding me down See I've been vacant